Armored Armadillo. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Mega Man X, part of the 16-bit summer. Anyway, this is UT Young for this, and uh, last time we went and... What the crap did we do? Uh, Sting Chameleon, yes, we went and put the sting on Sting Chameleon with uh, Boomer Kungwar's weapon, who we decided to go boom and uh, destroy him with homing torpedoes, and yeah, yeah, enough of that. Anyway, this time we're going to be going for Armored Armadillo, which, yeah, could be... Alright, these guys are getting annoying, but... Yeah, this Armored Armadillo could possibly be my least favorite uh, boss in the entire game. Or, well, the, of the eight, eight machine guys, so. Come on, death to you. I wanted to kill you before you got here so I can actually fill up on a bit of energy. So, yeah. Fun times indeed. So... You know, basically, in this stage, the the stage itself isn't hard. It's the robot master himself, Armored Armadillo, that's actually annoying. And especially these Metars, if they kind of get in the way, but... Seriously? Bats? Why? Have I ever said I hate bats in video games? Unless you're talking about Batman. He's actually pretty darn cool in video games. Yay! Enough of this. Just destroy everything you see, or actually skip everything you see in this case. <laughs> Everybody dies by the power of the thing they invested in me. Alright. This is probably one of the longest stages as well. However, it can be like extremely short. Alright, if if you know how to actually effectively use your, uh, like, dash boots, uh, coupled with the mine carts in the area, so. Yeah, and if you notice, I actually go into the menu a lot more to switch weapons, because I find it gets a lot more, a lot easier with more weapons that you get to actually go into the menu and choose it from there instead of use your L and R buttons to scroll through uh, the different weapons. So. Anyway, I believe this is the last little bit of the of the thing, and yes, this does have major slowdown as well. Alright, come on, X. Don't want to go through that door yet. Want to get up here. Why? Because I want to get up to the top there. Show you guys something. For those of you who, who have uh, completely 100% of the, this game of P4, you probably know why I'm trying to get up here. But yeah. Alright. Seriously, X? I'm just gonna cut until when I can do it. Because I am not the best wall jumper in the entire world. Alright, or, or I could just do it with, while I'm talking. One or two. Anyway, that little energy tablet, you want to come back here and grab that lots and lots of times. I'll show you why in the next part, but as for now, we're gonna say hello to Armored Armadillo and actually get to use, uh, not that one, this one, Spark Mandrill's weapon on him. Because, yeah, without Spark Mandrill's weapon, this could be extremely hard. Howdy, dude. What's going on? No. Yeah, you kind of have to, if you spark him once, he loses his armor. That means you can actually hit him whenever you damn well please. Unless he just sits there and does box you in a corner all freaking day long. 
But yeah, it makes him a lot easier. And uh, you could probably deal a lot more damage to him be uh, with Spark Mandrill's weapon, but uh, you know what? I want to actually try and have a little bit of freaking dignity with him and uh, destroy him with the X Buster. Unless he just sits there and does this. Alright. Sub tank. This. I have never ever used a lot of sub tanks. I usually try to avoid using sub tanks until like the final levels, but for some odd reason. Alright. Come on. Armored Armadillo must die. Let's do a full power shot on you. There! Death to you! Midair! Yeah! And there you go. Armored Armadillo in an armored shell. Yay! Yeah! Go X. Alright, for uh, defeating Armadillo, we get Rolling Shield. Power Pink. Yay! Eh, decent, decent weapon. Not my favorite, but whatever. Anyway, I think for that we get a little bit of a scene. Yes. Finally! found Sigma's fortress. Let's go in and put an end to his war against the humans. And we shall do that coming up here, guys. Anyway, next time we'll go ahead and clean up a few things and uh, see where we can go from there. Anyway, guys, this is UT Young for this signing off, saying keep things frosty.